In the Kitchen is brought to you by Harvey's in Columbus, Starkville, and Tupelo. All right, welcome back, guys. We are in the kitchen here with Tawanda and the Kevlin, two of Harvey's finest chefs, and they brought us a seafood dish today. Tell us what you're making. Uh, we have a sesame seed crusted tuna uh, with pineapple salsa. Mm -hmm. Wow, sounds um, delicious. Yeah, it really is good. So um, we're just going to get right into it. Right now, what I'm doing is kind of pressing the tuna into my sesame seeds and um, Cajun, se Cajun seasoning. Um, and make sure your pan is really, really hot because you know you don't want the tuna to stick. And, Put it right. You're looking for a nice sizzle. There you go. Uh, and with tuna, you we typically cook it a uh, rare to mid rare, uh, mm -hmm. depending on you know the thickness of the, um, the tuna. So we're gonna cook it for one to two minutes on uh, each side. Each side? Nice. Uh, yeah, we're going for we're trying to go for a mid rare here. And it's just done right after that. Yes. Wow. That's, it. <laughs> That's, That's a quick it. meal. Uh, now some people they do more, but for the most part, we just quickly go to just mid rare to a rare to mid rare. That's yeah. It. Uh, so like I said, one to two minutes on each side, uh, depending on how far you want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, if we we do have some pineapple sauce that's just being topped with it, yeah. and we're paired it with lemon rice. Um, now I think it's very interesting that you're using a sesame seed uh, cover for mm -hmm. this. That's kind of unique to me. Uh, it kind of it's, it's it's good with it. And it kind of uh, keeps the tuna from being overcooked. Oh, uh, yeah. interesting. Uh, so we want to go ahead and flip this now. There you go. Sorry. Get that a little flip. Let's get there that. See that? Mm, nice brown crust Ooh. on it. Yeah. <laughs> that looks good. That looks really good. And, and, and it's Cajun, such a qu quick meal. Yeah, and the Cajun season to help with the color as well. So oh, yeah. yeah. And it gives it a nice flavor. Now, do we want to start making the, the pineapple salsa now? Yes. Uh, so, with the pineapple salsa, everything is going into the bowl. We have pineapples, uh, cilantro, uh, uh, green onion, tomatoes, uh, nice. and some jalapeno just for a little kick. Just a little and kick. lime juice, right? And we mix everything together, and that can be made in advance, um, so the flavors can marry together. And we do do add salt and pepper for uh, for um, see for taste. Now, is this a dish that's one of your specials? Yes, this will be running this weekend actually, ah. uh, from uh, Friday through the weekend until you know uh, ingredients is a leave. Okay. But uh, we, it is a good weekend for us. We do have state graduation this weekend. Okay, graduation. Right. Hey, mom, dad, <laughs> come to Harvey's. Get Please you some do. good seafood here. You, you'll be missing out if you don't come. Now, yesterday was Mother's Day. Yes. <laughs> and I can only imagine how hectic it was back in the kitchen because it's one of the busiest days of the year yes. and in restaurants. So just talk about that experience. A Mother's Day is one of our busiest days of the year. And yesterday was no, no different. Um, we had, it, it started about, we had, actually we had guests at the door at 9.30. We don't mm -hmm. open again to 10 on weekend. Mm -hmm. And they came in and they didn't start rolling till close. Oh man. It was a long day, so staffing was tired, but it was a well worth You couldn't day. just get a breather. <laughs> no. It was Kevin, well worth you only been there a year, so this is your first Mother's Day experience? It was my first Mother's Day experience. <laughs> oh, it was big. Had to break them in. <laughs> <laughs> had to break them in. I understand. I understand. That. Well, this looks so great. I, I mean, you already got the, the, the pineapple sauce done. That was really fast. It seems like like a meal that you can actually oh, yeah, make at home. Make it home. It's, really easy. it's so easy, and I'm sure people are going to be excited to have this meal this weekend. I think we're about to go to break. We're running low on time. We'll be right back in the kitchen. And after the show, you can get a coupon to Harvey's uh, right after this show. Just go to WCBI.com for that discount. You can't go wrong with a discount, am I right? No, you definitely can't. <laughs> well, we are back in the kitchen, and just look at that. I mean, that is a beautiful plate, an assortment of colors. I mean, I'm, it's fun to eat. People eat with their eyes first, so. Uh, really yeah, I think it. my eyes might be bigger than my <laughs> stomach right now, because I could eat that whole plate, at least I think I can. It looks so delicious. Now, Mother's Day is over, yes. so how do we feel? How are we feeling now? Uh, a little relief. A little relief? <laughs> yeah. I, I drove by Harvey's yesterday, and I was like, I, I I don't think I'm gonna get a seat until like eight o'clock if we I go would, in there. It was so busy. <laughs> oh man, I love to go too, but I'm gonna have to get it to go order or something because I, I almost thought about that getting a salad to go because it was just so busy in there. Yeah, we had a lot of to go orders yesterday as well. So we, anyway, we can get you in. We're welcome to have you. All right. Is there any other specials that we can look forward to? Uh, this weekend is the tuna. Uh, maybe a steak special in store. Uh, surprise okay. you there. So. Mm, okay. Got a little sneak peek right oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely love that. Uh, so, I mean, I'm sure our crew here at WCBI are going to want to dig in. So, don't, go wash your hands, guys. <laughs> All right, don't just dig in. Okay, go wash your hands. And uh, just thank you for joining us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this program. Uh, CBS Evening News is next. We'll be back at 6.